Dear News Social here, and today we're going to be reviewing the older fun German style knives. So this is a, a, a really nice four piece steak knife set where you can see you got a four to four and a half inch uh, steak knife blade, you got the instruction, I don't know why you would need instruction manuals for a knife, press and cut. Um, really beautiful layout here. You can see that it has a nice full tang. So the full tang is going to allow for um, a more sturdy grip. So I know that there are some that I've seen that are less expensive that come to about here. And those knives, if you're being particularly aggressive when you're cutting, um, it's gonna put way too much pressure on the blade and then you're gonna end up snapping the knife in half. Um, so with a full tang, you're not gonna have to worry about that. Um, for knife quality, you're looking for something that's gonna be like a cold steel, stainless steel. These are just standard stainless steel, which is still gonna be really great quality. Um, what you're looking for for a bad quality, for example, would be like ceramic. Uh, ceramic is not a great uh, quality knife, but stainless steel is perfectly great. Um, cold steel would probably be the best. Um, feeling this is not wanting to slice my finger right open immediately, so it's gonna be like a pretty decent a pretty decent sharpness just out the box but we are going to do a little bit more uh, testing on the sharpness of it in a little bit so let's get started on the testing for the testing i did get a few different items i went and i got from john several tomatoes i got some heirlooms and i got some more standard romas i got a junky piece of meat, you know, the cheap cuts. Um, this cheap cut is the shoulder, it's his shoulder clawed steak. Um, and this one here is a, a tri-tip. So we're going to do a couple of different tests on it. We're going to cut through tomatoes. We're gonna cut through uh, some of the steaks. We're gonna cut through it raw. And then I'm gonna cook up the steak and I'm gonna see how different the cut is, raw versus cooked, because it is gonna be a different type of slice. So let's get started on this. Okay, so tomatoes are notoriously difficult to cut through. You usually end up smashing right through them. I did get some relatively firm tomatoes um, and I got a couple of these guys that are a little on the softer side. So we're gonna see what this is like. And this is a very nice cut of tomato. Very, very nice. Let's go through this one. And I'm gonna cut this way because I like the cross section better. So look at that. That is beautiful. Let's see how thin I can get this with the tomato. Look at that. Oh my gosh. So this is, you can cut it paper thin. And that's just, that's awesome. So let's see, let's do this one right here. I'm gonna have steak and tomatoes for dinner tonight, I think. Look at that. That's incredible. Oh my gosh, that's so great. I, I'm very impressed. So this didn't squish it at all. See, a lot of the time when you're cutting through a tomato, it's gonna, it's gonna compress the tomato too much. This is a particularly squishy one. And this guy is not, it's not crushing it at all. And the juices aren't spilling everywhere, which is really cool. Because normally when I cut a tomato, it's just like destroyed by my normal kitchen knives. Okay, I'm gonna clean this up a little bit and we're gonna get to the steaks. First we've got the cheap steak. Yeah, this has got, this is not a bone. This is very, very thick, hard, almost gristle fat right here. So we're just going to do a 
Oh wow, look at that. You can hear it. A little bit on the tough side, they are room temperature. It is taking a little bit of effort to get through this thick, gristly piece right here. But I'm not putting very much pressure on it at all. So this is very, very, very thick, just so you can see that. And that's a nice, good, clean cut. Very nice. We're gonna cook this up in a minute and we're gonna really see what it can do when it's cooked. And I have two in this, so I'm just gonna grab one of them. So this one has some marbling, but it's not gristly at all. So we're just gonna do one section right here. And that is a nice, it's a really nice smooth cut. I really, I'm, I'm so far, I'm very impressed by these. All right, so we're gonna take a quick second and I'm gonna cook these up and then we're gonna come back with the cooked versions. Okay, now that I've cooked these guys up, we're gonna give it another go. First, we're gonna go into the cheaper steak. As you can see, it's very tough. It's still tough, but it's still a good cut. Takes a couple of tries, and that is nice. And for this guy, for the tri tip, you can already see it's a lot nicer. I do easier is more tender of a meat. And we've got a very nice cut for both ways. It was a little bit easier to cut through them raw, um, especially this guy. Um, but it still provided a really nice solid cut. There was minimal effort. The balance on this is just, it's really good. So this is, this is fantastic. You don't get a lot of great balance out of these steak knives, especially on the less expensive side. Again, with the full tang, with the stainless steel, this thing is gonna last you a while. Um, and you're not gonna end up breaking the handle because you put too much effort into cutting a tough piece of steak like this guy. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I hope to see you on the next review. Please make sure that you like and subscribe to Nerd New Social, hit the bell, and that way you can see all the new videos coming out. Mm -hmm.